Good evening guys, Lee here from Chumwise. Welcome to my shaving video. Today we're going to go back to a bit of a basic where we're going to shave with the Muller R41 Grand, Grande. It's an E behind. So, but anyway, the R41 is on the internet. Everyone says it's a beast. It's crazy sharp. It was Keep you alive, but I'm gonna show you. It's basically a better razor. It's really good, and I think it's more towards a misconception of what people say, because everyone has a different skin, different beard hair, and also this is a tool, and how you shape dictates dictates the outcome of it, and as long as you be sensible when you're shaving, have a good lather. I'm sure you will enjoy this. This is a really good shaver. And in fact, I really like open comb because of how the design of it, you can take a look at the, the longkang. It allows a lot of soap to go into the blade edge area. So it actually gives you a lot of protection before it starts cutting the beard hair. And I'm going to load this up with, if let's say you're afraid, I would just go for the Moshkot by Rapira. It's a mild razor because of its coating. I'll just load it up. This is my way of loading up the blade. Like this. A bottom cap and then I'll load the handles so I'm not sure you can see it the plate gate gap and the edge yeah it looks quite scary but actually if you think about it there's a lot of soap ladder that can go to that area so if you are really worried, I would suggest you to go for a wetter ladder. More water actually gives you more protection instead of a very thick, dense ladder. That's my opinion. You can give it a try. And also for this brush, of course, my favorite Brasso ball brush. Already pre soaked for at least 10 minutes. And something different today, something given by one of Williams Mark Shaving Soap. Thanks, Mervin. Today is gonna be like uh, open ceremony. First time using this, and I re put it into my shaving bowl. This shaving bowl is actually made by a Malaysian, and is handmade or handmade from Kuala Kangsa. Use Kuala Kangsa uh, clay. So the, all these dots are actually to help give more surface area for lathering and it, it fits perfectly for the shaving soap. You can see the logo of it. So smell wise, it smells exactly like an arco. If you don't know what's an arco, how does an arco smell like? So it's like? It's like going to a public toilet. It's not bad and I'm not saying it's bad, it's just that some people don't like it. I'm fine with it. It just smells familiar, so it has tallow, so it's a tallow shaving soap, so I'm pretty sure the performance should be at least somewhere up there. So let's lather it up. So as usual, warm water is the best. say how much loading time is really to your experience and also is to your liking I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be wondering like oh how much should I load how long should I load is there a set time I should go load it up but really there's so many soap out there in this world you should just try it out experiment it a bit like this soap is like boom so yeah that, I mean from the image of the packaging almost similar and I'm still loading on it. 
so I'm pretty sure it's fine. So again, just drip some warm water, wet line face, and off we go. So again, about how much to load and how long to load, I think it's more towards experiment with different soap, get used to it, understand different soap has different thirst level and also your comfort level towards the feel of it, I guess. So yeah, the smell exactly like, I would say exactly, it's almost similar like Arnaco. The slickness is there. But, well, I think I didn't squeeze that much of water out, so I think otherwise the water is good enough. So exactly how much ladder is enough is really again more like how much lubricant, how much water you feel. Like sometimes some soap like this, William soap, it just bloom up easily. So you don't really have to put much effort and the ladder is there but actually the ladder is quite fluffy. I try to add some water. I mean it's my first time using this so I'm not really sure how it actually is so I'm just trying different thing and I learned actually don't be, don't be worried to get a wet ladder because like example you are worried you are trying out an open comb razor I would suggest you to go I mean I highly recommend you to go straight for a wet ladder a wet ladder really gives you much more protection than a standard ladder I guess standard what does how what does what is a standard ladder how does it feel really it's so subjective but if let's say you are you are comfortable with a ladder which is slick, shiny, shiny sheen and and all those good things on it, then make it just make it wet, wetter from there. It's fine. It's really fine. In fact, for a new user, I guess I would advocate you guys to try out. Go. Don't be afraid to go wet, because yes, it looks the ladder looks doesn't look good, but. You'll be sure that the protection is there because water is actually a lubricant as well. So, I guess. And move on to start shaving. Again, dry hands. So, I'm going to do a two part shape uh, R41 grind day with a washcloth. Safety uh, razor blade. I'm so used to using straight razor, so it's a bit a uh, bit for me now. But once you're used to shaving. I mean, once you shave with DE for such a long time, it, it will be a bit like a muscle memory. Like once the razor is on your skin, you just shave it. Like your hand just feels natural to go down. You see? So far not too scary right, it looks like a typical DE safety razor, the open comb, I mean the close comb type. I would admit, maybe I didn't load as much, like you can see the ladder is actually fading. So maybe 
my second pass, I should try to boost it up a little bit and see whether it did better. Let's talk about with the grain and against the grain. Which is better? Seriously, no it doesn't matter. Whichever you like. For me, I love to go straight to against the grain because I feel that it's better for my skin. The blade just pass my skin maybe 2-3 times per spot and I'm done. If I can get a clean cut fast, why not? But if let's say you enjoy a particular scent of soap, performance of the soap, yeah, take some take take your time, enjoy it, savor it. Yep, I guess I didn't load it as much. So let's go. Second pass against the grain. See R41 just chew through it. I know if you, you might realize how fast I'm going because it's how smooth the blade is going over the ladder, my skin and beard hair. So don't really worry about it, see? If you look at the blade area, it's covered with the ladder which is exactly what the ladder is supposed to do for you, protects you. Clean. So for the straight razor, I'm still not that good on it, but for safety razor, it's pretty much easy. I go straight against the grain. So one pass done. So with against the grain on the moustache area, you pretty much don't have the issue of the cap of the razor hitting your nose. And look, clean, clean, clean. Two pass R41. And since it's gonna be a weekend. So, yep. I'm gonna have um, one of my favorite aftershave balm from Parastat Man, Seville. Seville? Seville? Oh, I know it's, it's a Spanish area. There's a bull and it smells citrusy to me, but really, I like it a lot. And all I need is just a little. And I can go all over my face, no, shape area. Really, a little goes a long way for shape balm. Um, doesn't have to be a lot because you just need a thin, slick layer on over it. And your skin is going to enjoy it. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys enjoy it and thanks for the comment, 
and feedback. I really appreciate it and hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.